Hey guys, it's Butters, and welcome back to another video. I don't usually do these kind of videos, but uh, I thought since it's related to MLP, I thought I would just go for it. I did a poll on my story a few weeks ago, I believe, about if I should record the process of cleaning out my closet, and you guys said yes. So that's what this video is about. Enjoy watching the video. See ya. First things first, I took out everything out of the dollhouse I had and placed it all on the dresser behind me. After that, I made a plan where I was going to move everything, even though I had no idea where anything was going. It just was kind of a big mess. Here's a clip of me pretending like I have a plan. Enjoy. So I mostly cleaned everything from here. I'm not gonna take this out because it doesn't really affect like how heavy this is. This is like pretty light. My plan is to get this out. I'm thinking of moving all those over here and moving this up there if I can and move that. And it's not set in plan, but I'm just gonna see what works because I'm going crazy with this. Disgusting. Oh, it's everywhere. <laughs> I hate it. So I moved the dollhouse out of my closet and of course my cat immediately claimed it, which is what cats do, so I'm really not surprised. I cleaned out the dollhouse and just wanted to make sure everything was sparkly clean because it was a mess. After that, I moved all of my little figures to the other side and tried to organize them better. It didn't work out well because they were just smushed the same as they were on the other side. Oh yeah, then I paused everything I was doing to watch my friend's drawing stream, so uh, that was fun. Shout out to her. Check out her Instagram. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Then I cleaned again and realized how nasty everything was. Ew. Other than that, everything was looking pretty good. I attempted to put all my nicer dresses on this side of my closet rather than the other side because all my other clothes were all smushed, which I did not want, but... Yeah, that plan completely failed, so I put them back and reset out my plan. So I was going to put all my dresses and stuff over here, but um, let's uh, move to plan B. So I switched these two, and I don't think I'm going to have room for those, so I'll just put them back in the other side of my closet. This is what I'm going for so far. Next, I brought down all the random things on the top of my closet and moved the little LPS house I made over to the opposite side. A little update, it's going pretty good. I moved this over, moved my LPS up there, plushies up there. I could not fit this for the life of me up there, which I figured, so I'm just gonna leave it here. I began moving and reorganizing the wretched place I called a dresser and fixed it up just a little bit. Just like a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. It's a mess. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, pretty bad. And a lot of this stuff I don't even want. Also guys, look at this. It's signed by both people. I don't know what their names are, I'm tired. <laughs> this one is the voice of Twilight. Tara Strong, I think, yeah, yeah. Oh, also, I also have two stacks of uh, Pokemon cards. That was like my entire childhood in one place. <laughs> then I started putting back all the toys I wanted to keep, either back in my closet or just somewhere in my room. Look at my fish. I found this really interesting MLP art book when I was organizing my closet and thought I'd show you guys. I actually found this book on Amazon and the link to this book will be in my description below if you want to ask for it for Christmas or 
you just want to buy it. This book is super cool. I got it a few years ago. Don't know where. Pretty neat. It has a whole bunch of different MLP artists, and it's just super cool. And you can get a lot of really cool poses from this book, and I definitely recommend it if you can find it. <laughs> There's the barcode if you want to scan it. Yes, it's so cool. So I redid this again, and it looks a lot better and more cleaner. So basically, I just stretched it out more so they have more room. It's not like cramped up. I didn't redo their remains, but. I probably won't do that because I'm lazy. Don't you guys love that literally every single custom I've made ever is broken? I painted the hair on, but like broken, broken for this poor man. <laughs> broken, as you saw in my last video. Okay, bye. Oh, and this one is broken. I should probably make more customs. Yeah, I just thought I would show you guys what I put in here because I don't think I ever did. If I did, I can just cut this out, but I don't think I did, <laughs> so. I put all my Halloween stuff that was up in my room right here. Pokemon cards right there. We have all my tiny little Christmas props. Here are all my string lights that I've collected over the years. Here's my sticky tack. I believe I got it at Michael for like three bucks or something. I've been using it for literally years and it works perfectly. Here are a entire pack of clear rubber bands. If you want to style your pony's hair but don't want to make it obvious that there's something in their hair, get clear rubber elastic bands. So in this little drawer, I have all of my electronics in the first drawer and then a bunch of bottle caps for no reason at all. Here is just a bunch of little figures I have, Pokemon, MLP, and then I also have some figures of Eeveelutions. And there's a Flutter Pie card I got when I got those, so super cute. I keep all of my props I've ever used ever for my series, Pinky Secret and everything's that perfect. If you have a series, toy series of any kind, I recommend you keep a little bag for everything you have in your series. I have an entire bag of just toys. This bag isn't even enough for how many toys I have, which is kind of sad. Oh, here's the ticket I got when I watched the My Little Pony movie. It's a little galaxy cat. A little framed painting of like an Alice in Wonderland type scene. Super cute. For those wondering what's in here, I just have like a little glass heart. And in the last box is nothing special. I hated having all this junk in the first drawer. Um, so I moved it down here, which is perfect because I am not going to use it a lot. So that is it for my little, my drawer tour. Hope you guys enjoyed my drawer tour. All right, so after like an hour and a half of cleaning, I believe, I have finally finished my closet and I'm so so happy with how it turned out. It was so bad before. So let's take a look. a little redo of my closet. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope it really wasn't boring. This video hopefully is interesting to you. Hope you enjoyed and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. So I found this really interesting MLP art book when I was organizing my closet and thought I'd show you guys. And my cat wanted to uh, say hi, so 
Hello, cat. I am ready to die. Oh, yeah, then I paused everything. I was too. Yeah. No! How dareth thee! The door's open. Do you. Do you, you want to leave? Alright. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is this is her home now.